Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to make an automation droplet in Adobe Photoshop. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this little arrow icon right down here is actually a Photoshop droplet. And the cool thing about it is, if I go out to my finder and I drop a bunch of files on top of that arrow, it will open everything in Photoshop and do a certain action on them. And then it'll even save them in a folder that I set up. So it can really speed up your workflow if you have a lot of repetitive tasks to do on a bunch of different files. Okay, so let's set up a droplet in Photoshop. Okay, so I've got this design and there are two things that I want to do with this design and all my designs. I want to remove the extra pixels from the top and the sides. And then I want to resize the whole thing to 5,500 pixels. And the reason I need to do this is I want it to look right on one of my print on demand websites that I upload all my artwork to. And if I do all those things, it works perfectly. So first we need to create an action that will do this. So I'm going to go to window actions and open my actions panel. And now I'm going to start a new folder. We'll call this one, my actions. And now we need to add a new action inside the folder. So I'll come down here to the bottom and choose the new action button. I'll call this one, um, trim and resize. I'm going to save this in the set, my actions that I just created, which is this folder. And then I can also set a function key to this, but because I'm creating a droplet, I don't need to do that. So I'll go ahead and hit record. So now it's recording every action that I make inside this document. So I have to be very careful to only do things that I want it to record. Okay. So first I'll come up here to image and trim. I want it based on the transparent pixels and I want to trim away the top, the bottom, the left and the right. So I'll say, okay. And as you can see, it's recorded that right up here in my actions. And now I want to resize. So I'll go to image, image size, and then I'm going to change this from inches to pixels. And I want the width of all of these to be 5,500 pixels and then proportional height, which this little button right here will keep it proportional if it's checked. Okay. So that looks good. I'll say, okay, we can see it got a little bit smaller, but those are the only two things that I need it to do. So I'm going to come down here and push the stop button. Now we'll want to save the set. So I'm going to get right on that folder and then choose save actions. And you can put these anywhere you want, just on your desktop or wherever. So I'll do that. And now we can create our droplet. So I'll come up here to file, automate, create droplet. And now I've got this dialog box and I have a lot of different options. First, we'll want to save the droplet itself, which is the little program we're writing, which is this little arrow. So where do we want to save that? I'm going to save it on my desktop also. We'll call this one trim resize. And it's actually creating a little program when we do this. And I'm going to save it in this folder. So we'll go to save. And then the next section is play. So we'll choose the set we just made. I'm going to choose my actions and there's only one action in there, but if there were more, you could choose which one you want. Uh, we're going to want it to do the trim and resize. And then you have some options here for how you want it to behave. I usually leave these blank. If it comes across any errors when it's trying to do this, it's going to stop, but you can also have it log the errors to a file. Okay. The destination is where it's going to save the new files. So I want it to be a folder, but we can also choose no destination or we can have it just save and close the current document. I don't really like to do this because it's overriding something that I might need later. So I always put them in a new folder. So now we'll choose that folder. I'm just going to create a new folder out here called trimmed files. And that's the folder I'll choose. You can even change the way it's going to save each file. I'm just going to have it name the new files, document name, whatever it already is, and then the extension, and then we'll say, okay. Okay. So if I go back out to my finder, we can see the new little trim and resize droplet that we made. And we also have our folder out here. So I'm going to drag a bunch of files onto the droplet. 
So now Photoshop is running in the background. It's opening all these different files and trimming them and then resizing them and saving them in that other folder. So if we open this folder, we can see those new files coming in here. Okay, so now all of our files are in here and I'm just going to open one of these in Photoshop and see how it did. Okay, we can see that it's cut off the extra pixels on the edges. And now if we go to image size, it has saved it at 5,500 pixels wide. So it's really easy to create and use an automation droplet in Photoshop. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.